To uh, stick those two parts together, we use uh, two magnets and we make a hole here and a hole in this object and place two strong magnets in there. To do this, we select uh, this face, we make this one invisible, we go to the plan view and the magnet has the shape of a rectangle so that's why I select the rectangle and it must be 5.5 .5. it's a 5 the magnet is 5 by 5 but half a millimeter baker with 3d printing is always uh, is always good and this size we do 5.5 .5 as well 5.5 .5. And we select everything, press Ctrl and the other two as well. And we select the move tool and we move it for 22. Enter and we move it down for for uh, 2.25. 2. 20 delete it 2.25 enter and you see that it's on the midline now the midline of the rotation circle and if we you want to have this box on this side as well to glue the piece of iron in but if we are trying to make a, a square, it's a different thing than a circle. You, know, you remember with the pattern, we can find this point and copy it and swipe it over for 180 degrees and then it's over here, like we did before. But if we do this, this in this mode, a square, it doesn't work. Uh, I don't know why exactly, but... Uh, I'll show you it's selected and a circle is one one line now you have four lines probably that has to do with it it looks like that uh, if I push options and I make create a pattern of it and I found the, the midpoint here and now I have to drag the move to, to this point but that doesn't work because for some reason it's locked inside the box so I I can create a pattern what swings around this point and to get around this so I tried something else and that's I go with this to the to a 3d three-dimensional mode and use the this key and now select this face and this is connected with this face and if I make a pattern and I start swinging or turning it turns this face as well yeah I will show you now now I select it I might pattern I find the midpoint the midpoint is here so, and you see it already highlights up. And if I, I can now, I can move to here, but as soon as I start turning, you see, it turns the whole, everything. And that's not what I want. You know, I only want to copy my magnet hole and not the whole face. So this is not working. We undo it. And to move to get around this I found out if we drag if we drag this out for let's say one millimeter now we have a separated face so it doesn't it is not connected with this anymore now we can copy it so select it put a move tool on it make it a pattern 
find this point here and move the move tool on it and beautiful so we do this for 180 and uh, we're not yet there because if I turn like this you see yeah and you see it over here as well you have a left bottom and you have a left bottom as a surface and that's because we copied the the face and we placed the face here but we placed the f it's not connected with this object anymore and yeah it's very easy way to do it is just it's selected first make sure every you are deselected you're out of the pattern mode uh, select it with the pull tool and drag it in there for one one and uh, now you see it is uh, connected it's one object again if I click on here you see it's everything is brown uh, but we have to put it in there for one millimeter 1.5 so we plus one of the manipulation makes 2.5 so we put it in there for, for 2.5 this one we put in for uh, 6.5 enter we are real programming on the edge over here because there is a magnet here as well and if I measure the distance you see the, the minimum distance is 2.25 and the distance of this one select this one and select this one is you see two so we only have 0 0.25 between this hole and this one and it's perfectly solid so we're really working on the edge but that's why we use this kind of software 